Hello, friends, and welcome. Today, I'm showing this palette by Core, and it's my first uh, quote unquote traditional palette. It's called Introductory. There's 12 tubes of colors, and I'm having so much fun with these. I'm mixing and matching, and I'm just exploring and trying to figure it out how, what colors I can get from these colors. I usually go for like weird colors and made colors. These are like more traditional, again, quote unquote, core colors. This is like the palette that it looks like. I love it. I just love the colors. And um, today, I've been like playing with watching all the colors together, sort of making a chart. But today, I want to play more with this ultramarine blue. This like the chart that I've done mixing everything. And the line of the ultramarine, it makes it, it just so interesting to me. I want to explore more of those colors. So this is what we're going to do today. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to do this watching my way. So I drew a bunch of mermaid, obviously. <laughs> and um, we, we're going to mix the ultramarine blue with all the colors i just wanted to show you here how these colors flow in on wet on wet they are like sort of known by this crazy flow um and it's m because of the binding of that the binder that it's in them that it's different from the usual uh, gum arabic or honey or stuff like that i think it's called aquasol so it makes it flow a lot so the first color is Nickelado yellow, and I'm going to put the actual color on the air of the mermaid, and then I'm going to slowly start to add the ultramarine blue. So that is going to be sort of a rainbow mermaid at the end, all of them. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, um, uh, it's very interesting to me because I, I was never a big of a mixer, uh, with painting, I will just like, I just like the, again, the weird colors, the moody colors or the very bright colors, but colors that are like already made like that. So not mixed. And now I'm sort of learning and playing and experimenting and I'm having so much fun. Uh, so this first color, you see the like mixed with the blue becomes a little greenish. Uh, so there's first this um, uh, very acid green, like yellow green. And it gets darker and darker as much uh, blue marine, uh, ultramarine blue I add into the mix. So lovely with that. A uh, quick note about core. They're very uh, stainy, I guess it's the word. Or um, um, what I mean by that is that they dry very quickly. So it's hard to re-wet them on the page. To, like if you make a mistake or if you, um, uh, they, they will make like this art line, like in this mermaid on the very top, like you see that art line there. Uh, so it's, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's actually fun once you understand how they work because you can work with patterns. So do a pattern with a color and then go over it because it's not going to move. Uh, the color doesn't move, but uh, because, you know, with other colors that can lift, uh, you, if you go over with another layer, they, the first layer will lift and sort of mix with the, the second layer. This ones don't do that. <laughs> they, like, they stay on the paper. And uh, I think it's very interesting if you learn how to do it. Obviously, as usual, it depends on what you want to do, what what's the... Uh, the goal, what what you painting, you know, everybody's different. Everybody's like a different style. Everybody likes to do different things. So, um, yeah, I think it's interesting, and I think it's uh, it's been um, told like like a bad aspect of these colors, but I think it's very interesting and it's fun to understand how to use it to do new things. So. I'm going to go with patterns and uh, <laughs> maybe I'll show you something. I think I have a short with these colors, with patterns, like with mermaids or um, I did, I painted a bird and I did all the feathers first and then I went over with the color and the feathers were still there. So it's it's pretty interesting. This second color I just wanted to mention is the Ansa Yellow Light. It's a very bright yellow. 
love that color because you can mix so such bright colors with it it's beautiful the first one is more like uh, the nickel also yellow it's a little bit towards it's, it's warmer towards the orange uh, so you will still create bright colors but a little bit more muted let's say uh, in respect to this one the anti-yellow light so as you can see you create like this green but going uh, towards um like blue green sort of like turquoise a little yeah it's very inter I, I love these colors i love all these colors <laughs> all of them <laughs> but um yeah i want to also to explain why i'm saying uh quote-unquote traditional palette because there's the uh, three yellows or uh, three reds two blue and one uh, green green bluish so i will say three blues too and then two earthy colors and one neutral you'll see them all here while i'm on the ears of uh, of the mermaid uh, so this third uh, color is guanacaron gold deep which is one of my favorite color in general because you can create like this deep almost orange until like rusty orange and you can get very light almost uh towards a yellow and with the ultramarine blue you create all these uh, brown and uh grays uh it goes like from brown to gray depending on how much ultramarine blue you add so it's very interesting i love the mixing with this particular color like with ultramarine blue and the quanacron gold deep love it so yeah uh, that's I was saying that's the reason why I'm saying it's sort of a traditional more traditional uh, palette because there's like blues yellows uh, red so the primaries and then two earthy tones which are the uh, yellow ochre and the burnt sienna and then uh, one neutral which is paints gray which is beautiful so like the mixes I was I was like between the ultramarine blue and the, the paints gray the uh, mixes i wanted to do either or because they're both bo i love both of them <laughs> uh let me know in the comments if you're interested into into see um like a mixing of the same palette with one particular color in i will do paints gray but anything else will work too because it's they they're just great bright colors so and very interesting so it's nice to see and play and learn how your uh, colors work uh, so this one it's called pyro red light which is no sorry i think this is a quanacro magenta yes that's a quanacro magenta and uh, uh it's sort of like this pinkish red which creates this very bright colors. Uh, it's like the anti-yellow light. If you mix those two, you have such such bright colors. And if you add to that as a, a, pr a primary tree or your tallow blue, you're like super bright. <laughs> uh, they're, they're lovely, lovely, lovely colors. Uh, so this one, uh, the Quanacro Magenta with the blue, with the ultramarine blue, uh, creates all this range of purples that are beautiful in my opinion <laughs> uh love it love it love it in the the middle of the tail of the mermaid tail is beautiful that there's like this uh, the other thing with ultramarine uh blue is that there's a, a bit of granulation there depending on the brand and the use there's going to be more or less granulation but with core there's like a decent one and so every time that you mix a color with the ultramarine blue, there's this granulation going on, which is, uh, in my opinion, beautiful. Like, look at the, uh, the Quanacron the Deep Mermaid over there, like on the very left. Like, there's so much granulation going on there. Uh, I love it. And same is going to happen there. Like, the, uh, while it dries out, it creates more granulation. So it's it's beautiful to watch. So I think this is the pyro red light. Sorry about that. Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I think so. Um, and this is like a more reddish red, even though it still goes a little bit towards pink. 
but it's different from the Conakral Magenta. You can see also by the mixing, it's a little darker. Uh, the Conakral Magenta is brighter, a lot brighter. And this one gets creates with the ultramarine blue, these moody uh, purples that are beautiful. Like for, uh, I will use them, you can use them for a, a shade, uh, but also for backgrounds, I will use them. Like if you have a, uh, say you, you do a per portrait. I do my portraits are very much comic like, uh, like the illustration style. But if you do a portrait with very bright colors and then on the background you do something moody, it, the contrast is it's beautiful. I think it's very interesting. Um, this next color is permanent alizarin, oh, crimson, <laughs> which is a red red. It's a very like bright red beautiful and uh, with the ultramarine blue it becomes this very interesting sort of um, maroon beautiful color that becomes slowly sort of a purplish blue and then uh, like it goes to neutral to gray it's lovely look at the granulation there it's amazing it's crazy from like you have like this super bright color that then it gets muted with the blue and it creates this moody atmosphere. <laughs> I don't know if it's a, that's a word, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, next, well, next two colors are two blue. So, you know, when you mix blue and blue, you have more blue. <laughs> you can have more blue, but different shades of blue. Uh, this is a tallow blue, which is lovely. I love this color. I love to mix with this color. It's so bright, it's so fun. Uh, but then when you add um, um, ultramarine blue, uh, clearly it muted it up and uh, it goes darker and darker. Uh, but if you look at this mermaid, it's like if it was a wave in the ocean, right? There's like you have all the shades of blue from uh, uh, this sort of greenish blue to darker and darker. So lovely there too. Uh, the next one, it's a green. It's a uh, Viridian green, which is um it's good for uh I, I don't love it as a green it's a nice color like this is just personal opinion uh but in the mixing it's it's sort of interesting and mixing it with the blue it's sort of it's a bluish bluish gets bluer and bluer um it's again it's something that you can definitely use in a landscape and um, in an ocean scene or something like that uh but um also uh probably uh, for a, a sky, like the very middle of the mermaid, I will see a sky there, definitely. All right, so next one is Burn Sienna. Um, I love, 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 love the mix with the ultramarine blue of this color. It's just like a lot of browns, neutral, that are so, so interesting. It's gonna get darker and darker as usual, but um, it's it's very interesting. I think I've seen burnt sienna, and this is probably like more yellow-ish than others that I've seen. But uh, the mix again, it's beautiful. It goes like from brown to grays, and uh, I I love when I can get like beautiful grays. It's something that I use a lot, you know. In my illustrations, so it's it's nice to have the option. Next one is this yellow ochre, and um, this particular yellow ochre, it's very much yellow, <laughs> uh, but I've I've seen I've noticed by mixing it with other colors, it sort of create these pastel tones, which are very interesting because I've never really work with that sort of colors. It sort of it mutes down all the colors, but it keeps them light. So uh, that's why I'm I'm thinking pastel. So it's very interesting. Again, I want to explore that more. Um, and uh, you can see like the difference between the the yellow ochre and the burnt sienna, the two uh, mermaids, as uh, how like the the yellow ochre stays like lighter and uh, more like pastel again. So last but not least, there's the paints gray, which is my favorite, one of my favorite colors. And uh, with the, um, mixing it with the blue creates all this shade of gray. It's pretty much 
I mean, the, the paint's gray, it's already a, a sort of a bluish gray, bluish neutral. So with more blue, it just goes bluer and bluer, uh, but still like stays in sort of a neutral um, realm. <laughs> so there's the, uh, they are uh, my messy <laughs> watercolor mermaids. Uh, they're sort of pretty, I like them. They're all like uh, rainbow mermaids. Uh, it's so fun to mix and match. I totally recommend it. Just play with your colors so you can learn learn how they work and understand uh, what you can get from them, which is so fun and the whole point of having colors, right? Like mixing them and see what you can create. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, hope you have a lovely day. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.